Just when you thought Energy Landia couldn't get any more, we finally have a plan for a 2020 expansion with not two, but three roller coasters. So about six months ago, I made a video about how there were some leaked plans for a Rocky Mountain construction coaster and a Vacoma launch coaster, but it seems that those plans were only the beginning of what's to come. So let's start off with arguably the biggest addition. There's going to be a sort of mythical dragon-themed area being added. So far, we know that there's going to be a ground-up Rocky Mountain construction hybrid. Yep, you heard that right, ground-up hybrid. And it's rumored to be called Splinter. There's also going to be an unnamed Vacoma family coaster, a dragon-themed dark ride, a monorail, and a general-themed expansion with what I'm guessing will be in you know, restaurants and other non-ride things. The Rocky Mountain Constructor itself is looking really, really awesome. We don't have any official stats yet, but based on this rendering, it has three inversions, including two rolls and a zero-g stall, an outward wave turn, a bunch of airtime hills big and small, some S-turns, which are pretty new to RMCs, and an overbank turn with an outer bank exit. As mentioned, the rumored name is Splinter, however, it appears to be a black iBox coaster. This makes sense because a month ago we saw photos of Black Track at the RMC factory. As mentioned, there are no official stats, however, somewhere and somehow people are saying it's going to be a hyper. Now, take that with a grain of salt, I'm not entirely sure where people are getting that information. I'm guessing that they're going to try and break the Steel Vengeance record, but please take that with a grain of salt. I think a dark ride is a really good fit for the park. They already have a shooting dark ride called Monster Attack, but the more dark rides, the merrier. Looking at the next coaster, it appears to be a Vacoma Mine Train. For now, it's dubbed as Junior Coaster. I doubt that that stays the final name, but I could be wrong. As for the themed area itself, according to this rendering, it looks amazing. There's going to be a couple of dragon-themed playgrounds, and of course a monorail. Right now, it's being called a mini monorail, but that should be a really awesome fit for the park. I'm going to go over some information from the past now. Not only do we have this amazing expansion, but there's also a rumored Vacoma Tilt Coaster, and a Vacoma launch coaster planned for 2020 and 2021. According to this rendering, the coaster is white and interacts with water, but it's not clear if this is the tilt coaster or the launch coaster. Now, we know that the park has four coasters planned for the next three years, so that would explain all four. The Vacoma Mine Train, the two large-scale Vacoma coasters, and then the Rocky Mine Construction Coaster, which has already started track work. And then, of course, the two large-scale Vacoma coasters are coming. But those are both rumors. We don't actually know if those are real or not. On the rumor mill for the park, there's a Vacoma bike coaster. Think Tron at Disney World Shanghai. But that is completely a rumor and not actually confirmed. Now, before the video ends, I sort of wanted to explain why the park is adding so much. Because quite a few people are shaking their heads in disbelief. For any coaster enthusiast, this is really too good to be true. This is happening because the EU and the Polish government are investing their money into tourism in Poland. So casinos and amusement parks alike and any really touristy activities in the country are getting their funds directly from the government, which unsurprisingly is an incredible amount of money and investment. Anyway, that wraps up this amazing news out of what is about to become an amazing park. You know, this investment is certainly making this park a destination for enthusiasts all around the world. If any more news is leaked out about the future of Energylandia, you can find out about it here on Coaster Cupcake. Thanks for watching.